page four, yeah. The product market fit pyramid. Building a product is not easy. It seems easy because you can just ask anyone to give you suggestions of features or apps they want to build and they will mostly have an answer, but it doesn't mean that they know what they're doing, right? The same doesn't happen with code. You cannot just ask anyone that doesn't know how to code to build a service or an API using PHP or Python. They have to learn it. But opinions, everyone has one. And I think that's actually what a lot of companies get wrong sometimes. Because just because you work in a company for a long time or you are passionate about a mission doesn't mean that you know how to build a product. Companies sometimes just promote someone that is in the company for a long time and uh, make them the responsible for the product and that actually kills it. And um, in this book that I was reading in the beginning is called The Lean Product Playbook from Dan Olson, which by the way, I totally recommend because it's amazing. It gives you all the key concepts to build a product from start. They introduced this concept called the product market fit pyramid and in the base, the base of the pyramid, you have the problem. So you need to fix someone else's problem. If your app is not fixing a problem, it's not solving a problem, it just won't be successful. For me, I always try to find a problem that I can relate to because then I also become the first customer and that's great, especially in the beginning when you have no customers because then I can think on what features would solve the problem for me and I could somehow extrapolate that for the others. If you are not fixing your own problem, that's okay, but you just have to make a lot of interviews. You really need to understand the market and uh, understand what people actually need. But for change it, it was my own problem. And the problem is, I guess a lot of people might think that it's climate change, but no, we're not trying to fix climate change. Uh, at least, it's, I think it's a huge problem that it, it needs a lot of solutions. But uh, the problem we're trying to fix with change it, it's actually that people feel hopeless and powerless regarding climate change. They see the news, they see documentaries, they feel sad and there's nothing, or at least they think so, that they can do about it. So that's the problem we want to fix and that's the problem that Change It wants or proposes to fix. I will go uh, more in detail in the solution in other episodes, but now I want to talk about how to validate this problem. How to validate that it's not only a me problem and it's a general problem that other people also have. For me, first of all, I start speaking with my friends. You must have good sparring partners, people that are true to yourself and give you honest feedback. That's crucial. And if most of them don't relate to it, I immediately raise a red flag and say, okay, maybe it's not a problem for me to pursue. The other and it, this was actually, I, I cannot believe that I only realized this uh, recently. Other solution for me was to use Reddit. It's an amazing community. I know there are some bad comments and some haters, but uh, come on, that's everywhere, right? If you pass through that, you have so many amazing people that you give you great feedback and so many different topics too. So I just went to the sustainability uh, subreddit and I first, I think I asked if people could recommend climate change apps and they did. So I kind of could see that people were already interested in the topic and some of them were using these apps. And I also did my research. I realized that there was still space for, for change it. Then I will talk about that later. But then I just abused Reddit and I was actually kicked out of uh, many subreddits. Sorry about that. But yeah, I got a lot of great feedback from people and uh, that really helped me validate and motivated me to just pursue this idea and to validate that this was a problem, a general problem, not for only a, a me problem. Another way, and that was kind of the next step to, to validate that this is a problem, is to somehow show a product to people and see if they use it. A lot of people use quizzes or do like some landing pages since I'm a developer I always go okay let's build something so for change it I built the most simple version of the app 
that I thought it was already somehow useful. I shared it on Reddit, I shared it with my friends, and I already got some downloads. Not a lot of them, of course, but it was already nice to see, okay, there's people downloading it, there's people interested in the, in the idea, it seems that they might have a problem. So that the app is fixing. Of course, that there's um, other KPIs that you must follow. It's not only the downloads. I always fo- try to follow also the retention, so that to see if people is not are not just curious and then uninstall the app. I want to see if they actually use it, because that means that they actually find it useful. So yeah, those are basically my tips. I'm not an expert. But this is what I'm trying to follow with Change It and with any other projects that I'm having. If you want to read this book, again, is the Lean Product Playbook from Dan Olson. And uh, yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Thanks.